This is Lemur. And I'm MacGyver. We really wanted to kick off our nomadic life in the same place we had started another epic journey so many years ago. Where are you, Megan? At the start of the approach to the Appalachian Trail. We had parked in a friend's driveway for a night. And after some crazy amounts of rain, and with the wet conditions, we weren't exactly sure we were going to make it out of their steep driveway. Wow, the trailer is so tilted. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't know how he's going to get out. Right. You're really close. We are Jordan and Megan. We live and travel full time with these two goofballs, Max and Allie, in our converted cargo trailer. Back in 2008, we were dropped off at Amicalola Falls State Park to begin hiking the Appalachian Trail. Today, we are taking our tiny house to where that journey began. After a long weekend at GTI in South Carolina, we were sad to say goodbye to friends, but we were super psyched about actually starting to live life on the road. We had been living in the trailer for about three months, but it felt like we really hadn't gone anywhere. It's crazy, 13 years ago, right here, 2008, started the Appalachian Trail. It was pretty awesome to stand in that same arch as we did when we started our trek, realizing some of the goals we had talked about while hiking on the trail came true. A large part of why we chose to quit our jobs and to take six months to hike 2,200 miles from Georgia to Maine still stands true as to why we chose to go nomadic. What we missed most even all these years later is living simply. So this is the first shelter that we saw. Uh, not all of them are two levels. Most of them don't have an enclosure. <laughs> this is really nice, actually. Right. <laughs> from what I remember. So for those of you who want to know trail names, this is Lemur, and I'm MacGyver. We haven't really used them since the trail, but <laughs> those are our trail names. Just in case you didn't already know, trail names are fun nicknames other through hikers typically bestow on you as they get to know you and your personality. It's pretty similar to how we as nomads name our rigs. We thought we would stay the night here, we went through our gear, decided to get moving. The memories came flooding back. We had so many great stories from the trail. I know that we did part way up. I don't recall where we stopped. We got started and hit Springer and then camped close to the top, close to the shelter at the top. We had every intention of hiking up Springer Mountain. We were so disappointed to find out that the approach trail was closed due to erosion. We decided to continue up the trail to Neil Gap. It was funny to think it took us five days to hike and only an hour to drive there. While hiking, this was our first stop back into civilization. Neil Gap has a hostel, outfitter, and store to regroup, change out gear, and a resupply. We have no idea if he's still there or not, but at the time, the hostel was run by a guy named Pirate. I believe he was ex-Navy and that's how he got his trail name. There, we watched the movie Deliverance since it had taken place in northeastern Georgia. I remember the store being full of t-shirts that said, Hike faster, I hear banjos. These are hiker boxes, stuff people don't need. Don't want to carry, don't want to throw out, so other hikers can uh, partake if they need it. We met our first nomad. Kate is a traveling artist who travels with her goat, Little Leaf. How cool is that? She happened to be in the area doing trail magic with a friend. 
tons of hiker shoes just floating in the trees. Rumor has it that it's tradition for those who finish the Appalachian Trail to send their boots back to Neil Gap. The Wallace C. Yee Center was built in the 30s by the CCC, like many of the shelters along the Appalachian Trail. It's the only structure that the trail actually goes through. And the Appalachian Trail has gone through it, I believe, from the beginning. We used our first five days on the trail as a shakedown hike. We ended up sending about a third of our backpack weight and gear home. It really is crazy to think we started through hiking with 50 and 56 pounds on our back. Now we carry half of that on a heavy day. Here, I felt like I would give anything to hike a long trail all over again. It is said that it takes about 5 million steps to walk the entire Appalachian Trail, and that the elevation change is roughly the equivalent of summiting Mount Everest from sea level 16 times. Some 80% of thru-hikers don't complete their hike, half quit by the halfway point, and almost 20% are known to quit by the time they come to Neil Gap. The trail calls you and changes you, just like we know our experiences on the road will too. A friend of mine had moved to Jacksboro, Tennessee. Her and her family were gracious enough to let us park in the driveway for a night. She had warned us, it was steep. It was relatively easy to get the trailer into the driveway, but there was no good way of leveling it. We took advantage of our bed setup and leveled the bed instead of the trailer. That night, it rained buckets. The thunderstorm that seemed to park over us was loud and it was really hard to sleep. We got emergency alerts on our phones stating flash flood warnings. The next morning, the smell of the rain and the spring flowers in the backyard brought us right back to experiencing spring in the Smoky Mountains on the trail. Oh yeah, you're good. Jordan pulled the trailer out of the driveway like it was no big deal. Yeah, that was easy. The trailer is so tilted. <laughs> oh boy. I don't know how I was gonna get out. Right. You're really close. The driveway was steep and the road was busy, so we all worked together to get him safely on the road again. You good? Three feet. Good job. Jamie, Noah, and his family spoiled us with some delicious meals and great conversation. Thank you so much for spending time with us, the parking spot, and allowing us to fill our water tanks. As we drove toward the Smoky Mountains, we could see why there was flash flood warnings in the area. The water was almost as high as the road in some places. Thanks for watching. If there are any 2,000 milers out there, we'd love to hear from you in the comments. Give us a like if you are enjoying what you see and subscribe if you haven't already. Join us next time as we go for a hike in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park with friends. You'll never guess what we found on the side of the trail.